Hey, Dennis and ISD students. This is Ms. Gonzalez. Today we're going to be talking about how to add three-digit numbers with place value blocks. We're going to be looking at page 912 in your uh, Envisions book, volume 2. This one says find 143 plus 285. And if you noticed, they gave us place value blocks. So this first one right here that they gave us I'm going to use an index card to um, cover work. This first model right here is 143, and then there's a space, and the next one is 100, 200, 285, and they wrote it right there. Okay, so we are looking to figure out what is a 143 plus 285. Okay, that's what we need to figure out. We can use the place value blocks to help us count. So, here it tells us our steps. First, add your ones, then you add your tens, and then your hundreds. Okay, so when you add your ones first, you need to decide if you have to regroup or not. So, when we um, count, we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight ones. Okay, do we need to regroup? No. So I'm just going to write my place value chart. So no, we don't need to regroup. So then we go to the next um, place value and add our tens. Now remember our magic number is 10. If we get to 10, then we need to regroup because if we remember our point, our point says 9 or less let it rest. But if it's 10 or more, you have to carry it next door. So let's count all of our 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 ones right here. Did you hear that magic number? 10. Once we get 10, we can take 10 10s and regroup them and they become a 100. So now this, those 10 tenths became a 100. So now I only have two tenths left. Okay? Now we can count our hundreds. One, two, three, four. We have four hundreds. We got the number 428. Now, if we were doing it like this, we can always double check and see. 3 plus 5 is 8. Can I put 8 down? Yes, because it is less than 9. Okay, and then we add 4 plus 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. Can we put 12? No, because 12 is 10 or more. So we have to bring our 2 down and we carry our 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 more is 4. And that is how we got 428. So you can use your model to check your work. Now, on page 913, what you're going to be doing is solving these problems. Okay? Start by counting your ones first. So add your ones and figure out if you need to regroup. Okay? Here is another example that they did for you. And they're breaking it uh, step by step. So step one says add the ones. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 ones right here. So what do we do if we have 14 ones? We need to regroup. We need to circle 10 of our ones and regroup it into a 10. So we're going to circle these 10 ones. And now they have crossed over and became a 10. Now that we regrouped our ones, we need to go and count our tens, add our tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. There are 12 tens. So we need to regroup because our magic number is 10. So we're going to circle 10 tens. And they already did it for us, so circle your ten tens. And once you circle those ten tens, they're going to regroup next door. 
Okay? Now, the last thing you would do is count your hundreds. One, two, three, four. Okay? And then count everything you have. Then count so you have four one left, two tens, and four hundredths. And your answer is 424. Okay? You're going to be doing the same thing for these. So, what I would do if I were you is I would write how much each number equals over here on the side. So like this one, 110, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is 125. And then this one, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. 167. Let me double check just to make sure. 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Yes. Wasn't sure because I was talking and counting. All right. Write your numbers next to the side and then show your work in your models. So add your ones first. If you have 10 or more, circle them and regroup it to the tens place value. Then add your tens. If you have more than 10 tens, circle it, add it to your hundreds place value. Follow these steps. If you follow these steps, you will um, get these correct. That is what I would do for these numbers right here, four through six. Put your numbers next to the side and then show your work. Okay, guys, please take your time. This is something that we have already covered in class. You know how to add uh, with regrouping. So this is something that shouldn't be hard for you. I hope that um, you stay safe and I will see you next time.